for prosecutors, hate crimes can sometimes be tough. Hate crimes can be difficult because before you charge it, you have to be able to show the intent. But this latest case, they say, is clear cut. Charging documents say an Asian man was sitting in the passenger seat of a van parked in an alley at Northeast 45th and University Way waiting for his friend when Crystal Gibson bangs a cart into the van. Documents say Jimmy Patrick demanded the victim move the van and started yelling anti-Asian slurs and referred to himself as a skinhead. Documents say Patrick threw rocks at the victim, then stabbed him in the chest while Gibson pinned the man's arms. This not only was a first degree assault, but also was a hate crime, so we, we charged that right away. Since 2018, King County prosecutors have charged a total of 260 hate crimes. It says most deal with race and ethnicity. SPD's newly released 2022 crime report shows bias crimes dropped by 7% compared to 2021, and hate crimes went down by 14%. They've dropped off a bit in terms of referrals since the, the highs in the pandemic, so that's good, but we know that hate crimes are, are the type of crimes that often go unreported. That's where the organization CISC steps in. It created a program to make it easier for people to report incidents of hate with staff speaking multiple languages. We've collected more than 500 reports of uh, incidents of hate and bias throughout King County. The group helps victims get mental health support and pro bono legal help. It's now offering a bystander intervention training. People want to be empowered. They want to be able to understand what to do if they're a witness to or see an incident of hate and bias. The man stabbed is out of the hospital and expected to be OK. Patrick has previous convictions for theft, domestic violent assault and felony battery of a pregnant person. He's being held on a half a million dollars bail. Gibson has no criminal history and is held on a hundred thousand dollars bail.